We present loops, our approach to leverage provenance and visualization to support exploratory data analysis in computational notebooks. A notebook consists of cells that combine an input for code with the output it produces and they can be executed in any order. But when these cells are changed and re-executed, the previous code and output is lost, making it difficult to understand and compare the differences. This is not only impeding the analysis, but also affects repro reproducibility and overall code quality when cells and notebooks are duplicated in order to compare the output of different versions. With loops, we track the provenance of the notebook to visualize its history and summarize the changes next to the notebook. Repeating the same executions as before, loops shows how the cell executions change the data, the model output, and the visualization. For this, we aggregate the provenance data, grouping cell executions that follow the linear order of the notebook. So while a notebook is executed top to bottom, we aggregate the provenance information. But when the analyst, analyst starts to re-execute earlier cells, a new version is introduced. As data must be loaded before exploration or cleaned before modeling, these dependencies are reflected in the structure of the notebook. Going back in the notebook and re-evaluating already executed parts corresponds to a new iteration of the analysis loop that is visualized and compared to the preceding version. Our notebook diff shows if cells are added, removed or changed and summarizes these changes with different visualizations for text, code, tables, images and visualizations. We also show how often a cell was executed and by whom. The notebook diffs are aligned with the active cell in the notebook so that you can quickly compare how a cell has changed over time. The compact notebook diff hides the different visualizations for the cell content and provides an overview of how the notebook has developed in terms of structure, time and content. Let's take a look into the notebook of our first use case in JupyterLab. Loop's history is visualized in a sidebar next to the notebook. The history is aligned with the currently active cell. As we browse through the history, a brush in the timeline at the bottom is updated to reflect the currently visible part of the history. We can expand individual versions in the history to the detailed notebook diff to see how the content changed in that specific version. To inspect the changes in more detail, we can also open the cell comparison. Here, the bar chart is updated due to additional data, which increases the browse length and changes the labels. Going back in the history, we can also look into an earlier version that, created, that was created after there was a change in analysts. The ne detailed notebook diff shows no code differences, but multiple visualizations were changed as the loaded data was updated externally. Let's take a look into the changes of the last visualization in the notebook. Here, there was only a very subtle change, which added a single point into the scatter plot. Sliding between the previous and updated version of the chart allows us to identify this subtle change more easily. We have different visualizations for code, plain text, rich text, tables, and images and visualizations. Our prototype of loops is available as an extension for JupyterLab that you can try yourself. Thanks for watching.